What it do you two, B Kelly back again with another banger. Today I'm gonna tell you the most inspiring story in the NFL draft this year, the Javon Kinlaw story. Javon Kinlaw was born October 3rd, 1997. To say that he had a rough childhood would be a severe understatement. He spent part of his childhood homeless in Washington DC after immigrating from Trinidad and Tobago with his mother and two siblings. Just to describe some of the situations he was facing, Kinlaw used to ride the subway for hours at a time in Washington DC because it was warmer than where he was staying at at the moment. He even had kids he knew who would boil water from a neighbor's house just for him to shower. Even though Kinlaw was a beast on the field at Goose Creek High School, home of the Gators in South Carolina, he wasn't the best student off the field. He even skipped an entire month of school once, and in high school, he lived with a teammate, but since he knew he wasn't gonna be eligible for a scholarship, he actually dropped out of high school early and enrolled in a GED program and played at a junior college first instead of going straight to D1. The thing about Kinlaw coming out of high school according to 247 Sports, he was a three star recruit that's pretty good and he had offers from South Carolina, Maryland, Alabama, Clemson, East Carolina, Florida, Florida State, Louisville just to name a few teams. At Jones College at the JUCO level in his one year with Jones College he played extremely well. He even upgraded his 247 sports player rating to a four-star recruit and he had very good offers from yet again south carolina usc bama louisville maryland ole miss tennessee texas a and m just to name a few he would eventually commit to south carolina in his first season as a south carolina gamecock during his sophomore season he only played seven games, but he played very well in those seven games. He had a total of 17 tackles, 12 of them becoming solo tackles, and five of them being assisted, with two of them being for loss of yardage, and he even forced one fumble. In his junior season at South Carolina, he would play in 10 games and he did even better this season. He had a total of 30 tackles, with 15 of them being solo and 15 of them being assisted, and 9 of them being for loss of yardage. And he even had 4 sacks and 2 forced fumbles. Javon Kinlaw returned for his senior season at South Carolina, and he played even better. He played in 12 games, having a total of 35 tackles, 15 of them being solo, and 20 of them being assisted. Not to mention six of them were tackles for loss of yardage. And he had six sacks. No forced fumbles this year, but he got them sacks up. And he was one of the most dangerous and lethal defenders in all of college football this past season. He was scary. In his three seasons at South Carolina, Kinlaw would rack up 82 total tackles, 42 solo, and 40 assisted. Along with 17 tackles being for loss of yardage and he had 10 sacks and four fumble recoveries along with three forced fumbles going into this year's nfl draft he was described by one afc scout as the most violent player in college football this year at the 2020 nfl draft javon kinlaw was selected with the 14th overall pick by the san francisco 49ers I expected him to have an amazing career with the 49ers. I mean, he's supposed to replace DeForest Buckner, which I think he really can. This guy is a beast, and he's going to make that defense even better. 49ers defense already have easily the best defense in the league, and now it just got even better. That's the end of the video, guys. Remember to smash that like button, turn on the post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly out.